Hey, how's everybody doing today? My name is Ricardo Cordu. Um, if somebody didn't tell you that they love you, I'm going to be the first one to let you know that I love you. Okay. And so I, I pray that you're having a wonderful, marvelous day. And so I want to come on today because um, it's been a while since I've come on, first of all. But also, you know, I remember um, it was uh, April this year. Um, I was sitting in the doctor's office and, you know, they talked about, the doctor came to me and told me that I had type two diabetes, right? And, you know, if you could just imagine that, um, hearing that for the first time and, um, sitting there, uh, being somebody who doesn't take any medicine, uh, to all of a sudden having to take, uh, four different pills. Also, um, being diagnosed with type two diabetes. So they, put me on insulin too also, right? And, you know, I I felt so many emotions in that minute, in that second. And I, and I felt, I felt attacked. I felt like I felt confused and, um, you know, a little challenged because, you know, just growing up and seeing my, my dad go through uh, the challenge of being a diabetic and him taking shots, I kind of told myself as a young man or younger, when I was a teenager, I was like, man, I'm, I never want to go through that. But here I was, you know, the age of uh, 40 years old, and um, I was faced with that battle. I was faced with that challenge. And, you know, I remember, you know, telling God that in that moment, I sat there and I prayed and I asked God, you know, in between the fear and in between uh, the, the difficulty, I remember asking, telling God, I was like, God, if you heal me, you know, this will, I will, I will testify. This will be your testimony. And so, you know, you know, a couple months go by and, you know, here, here's one thing that I, I, I know I did is, you know, sometimes when you pray and, and I, I will tell you this, you know, sometimes when you pray, sometimes you will get an instant healing, but there is such a thing that you can get instant belief that God will heal you over time. And what I realized is that not only did God heal me, but he gave me the discipline and the tools that I need to, to, to apply to begin the process of, of, of creating a miracle for my life. Right. And so I told myself, you know, that I was going to do the things I need to do necessary uh, to be able uh, to get off of insulin. And so, you know, um, looking at that challenge, you know, I went on a mission, you know, I, I became disciplined on the foods that I eat. So I, I, I immediately, some people, I, I told somebody the other day, and you know, I, I immediately stopped eating fried foods. I didn't eat anything fried. So I cut the fried foods off, y'all. I cut it off. Um, uh, when it comes to um, exercise, I started exercising at least three to four times a week, at least for an hour. And um, I, I actually started doing um, push-ups. Uh, at least 200 push-ups daily and 200 crunches. And then I made sure I walked around the track at least 30 minutes. And then I did the steam room. And that's, that was like my workout for what I did, right? Nothing too crazy, nothing too amazingly different, but that's what I did. And then some things that I started doing, I started eating salads first thing. I would see I would eat salads in the morning, you know, first thing, uh, get berries, things like that. And I have berries and I would do a little turkey bacon, like two pieces of turkey bacon. And some people say it's not, not healthy for you, but I did the turkey bacon, you know, just something really light when it comes to the meat. I didn't do a lot of protein in the morning. And, you know, that is what I did. I was just very disciplined. And then lunchtime, I made sure I ate a salad and then food, salad, then whatever. But I was definitely not eating any fried foods anymore. I cut out a lot of my sweets. So I stopped, uh, I stopped drinking soda. You know, some things I just stopped doing. I just stopped drinking like juice on its own. I just, if I did juice, it'd be like uh, uh, I would juice uh, vegetables, things like that. You know, the fruits I was eating, I was eating watermelon, I was eating like red apples. Um, I started picking up uh, yogurt, like blueberry yogurt, things like that. Things that I know I could eat that would help me. And then um, it was just a lot of different things that I, I did in that time period. But through that challenge, you know, and I'll tell you, y'all, it was it was uncomfortable for me to sit there and take a shot every day. It was uncomfortable for me uh, taking the pills every single day, right? And so, but but 
what I realized is that through challenges, right, there's challenges that happen in your life uh, that, you know, either can make you or break you. And if you decide to believe in God, if you decide to do the things that God told you to do, that you know to do, more than likely you're going to overcome. And and the reason I came on and I, ta- I want to talk about this today is because I really want you um, to tap in. So you see this little barcode up here. It says free empower your journey training. Um, scan the barcode and join it. It's free. You get two free eBooks. One's about prayer. One's about self-development, right? And I want you to ride with me on this journey. And then eventually I want you to sign up for the warrior leadership, uh, um, that journey that I, that I offer to on my website. But I here to tell you literally two days ago, I was in the doctor's office, right? And the doctor looked at my information. My blood work came back really well. Um, I lost an additional 15 to 16. I lost 16 pounds from that time period. And um, the one thing that, that I heard was you no longer have to take your insulin anymore. And I was like, wow. Like I wanted to, I wanted to say hallelujah right there, right? I composed you. I like, I was like, I heard it, but then I I asked, I was like, you said that I don't have to take my insulin anymore. I was like, no, you stop taking your insulin. You're good. You you have your, we have your diabetes under control. It's under control. And um I'm telling you, it, it just I just felt like a relief and uh, a breakthrough. And so I told God that I would tell that testimony as much times as as people need to hear it. It's because I don't know what challenge you are going through with your body when it comes to your health. But if it's not going to be instant healing, God can give you insight on how to begin the steps to be making to, to make yourself better in life. Right. And, you know, I don't know why. I, it was my time to go through that situation, but it had to happen. But all I know is that our health is important, y'all. Our mental health, our emotional health, our physical health, our relationships, all that all that is very important in your life. And for you to, I used to talk about this thing called being unlimited, where you're living your purpose-filled life to your extreme, to your, to your best abilities. If you really want to tap in and live your best life, you have to begin the process of really giving your best and making sure every sector of your life, you begin to work on it, whether it's your relationship, I'm married, so working on my marriage. I say my marriage is bad, but I need to always keep working on it. I need to keep uh, becoming a better father, keep working on being a better son, keep working, being a better friend, keep working better, you know, in my career and my skill sets and my abilities, right? But what happens is when everything comes full circle, you become dynamic, y'all. Acceleration begins to happen. Uncommon miracles and uncommon things begin to happen to you that will set you to another level. And so I'm inviting you uh, to download this free Empower Your Journey training. You know, there's a little little link to um, watch the YouTube video first. But then if you put your email and your name in there, you'll get two free downloads where you'll be able to get tapped into these ebooks. And then I have a, a private uh, group me where we interact and uh, go from there. Um, I just really know that in this season, I know uh, things are, are scarce. You know, things are challenging. Uh, people are, are struggling with their jobs. Uh, they're struggling uh, trying to find a career. They're, they're struggling. Uh, to find their identity. They're, they're struggling financially. Uh, they're struggling health-wise in their marriage. Uh, they're looking to be married, all these things, right? All I know is that there is a separation of, of, of there's a separation happening in our communities, um, in our world. And for those who are becoming more disciplined, being focused, um, driving clarity and gaining answers, um, in their life, that's the ones that are beginning to win. And I want to give you the antidote. I want to give you uh, the information uh, that you need uh, to connect you to your destiny, right? And, you know, that love, that grace, that peace, that mercy, uh, all that thing in between, 
I'm going to set the atmosphere uh, for you to be able to hear, receive, apply, and take action. Apply the information and take action. And I'm looking forward to seeing great results for you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to end in prayer. But I'm going to come back on. I'm going to talk more about this uh, testimony because I just know that, you know, God's in the healing business. And, you know, I pray that whatever I said today is something that may inspire you uh, to take that next level. So, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord Father God, for another amazing day, another moment, uh, another Kairos moment, Lord Father God, where healing, Lord Father God, will come forth, Lord Father God, and manifest itself strong in this man and woman who is watching this uh, video, Lord Father God. Lord Father God, may, Lord Father God, the challenges of life, Lord Father God, the issues of life, Lord Father God, may you bring healing to them now, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Be healing, Lord Father God, to the atmosphere right now in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God. We don't know why, Lord Father God, uh, these challenges, Lord Father God, these valleys, Lord Father God, uh, came up that we're facing them now in this season. But what we know, Lord Father God, is that the belief, Lord Father, I speak, Lord Father God, to this man and woman's belief, Lord. We come into agreement, Lord Father God, because you said, Lord, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Lord Father God. And so we hear you, Lord Father God, say, by your stripes, we are healed, Lord Father God. Lord Father God, we hear, Lord Father God, uh, that you, Lord Father God, will bless those who bless us and curse those who curse us, Lord Father God. So we take the curse, Lord Father God, off of us, Lord Father God, and revert it back to our enemies right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. I speak, Lord Father God, health, uh, the wind of God, Lord Father God, uh, make our crooked places straight, Lord Father God, Lord Father God, the insight and the ideas, Lord Father God, the witty ideas and insight and information that you have begun to share with us right now, Lord, uh, to begin to implement, Lord Father God, change in our life, Lord Father God. We not only accept it, but we walk in uncommon belief, Lord Father God, and we apply it in our lives, Lord Father God, that you can manifest yourself in miracles, signs, and wonders. We're expecting it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Self-sabotage, we come against it right now. Delay, we come against it right now. Manipulation, we come against right now, Lord. Stinking, thinking, Lord Father God, we pluck it, uproot it, Lord Father, overturn it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord Father God, I plead the blood of Jesus, Lord Father God, over uh, lungs, Lord Father God, like cancer be healed right now in the name of Jesus, Lord. Destruction, Lord, we come against it right now. And we speak, Lord Father God, the grace of God to come forth like never before. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen and amen. And so my name is Ricardo Cordu. Go ahead and download the free Empower Your Journey training. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, two ebooks uh, that I created uh, earlier, 2024. And I didn't know uh, that what I was making then was going to be what I use uh, to be able to process the journey of what I was going to be facing uh, with these, this being diagnosis type two diabetic right now. And so the next goal is, you know, right now I, I'm no longer taking insulin. So guess what's next? These pills that I'm taking, I'm working on not having to take these pills too. So I'm looking for the next doctor's appointment in December to say, hey, you no longer have to take this pill anymore. And so that's the next goal, right? And so I just know I'm believing God. I'm believing God that he is going to heal my body wholly and completely. And I'm just wanting to give you some inspiration that if I did it, I know you can do it. So my name is Ricardo Cordu, and I wish you all things that you prosper and be in health, that your days are as sweet as honey, and that your life bring you much joy and much laughter. Remember, life is love and love is life. We're on the winning side. I will see you next time. I love y'all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.